Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session, we will discuss the parameters in Power BI Desktop. What are the parameters? How to create the parameters and how to use them? What are the parameters? Parameters are the basically containers, which may contain the single or multiple value. And we can use this parameter for the reports. To make the report dynamically, we can supply these parameters to the reports. Commonly, the parameters can be used for two purposes for the transformation and secondly in custom custom functions now we check how to create the parameters and how to use this parameter so first of all we check the data we have the segment country product discount band unit sales manufacturing price and other columns now i want to apply some filters on the basis some column say country i want data only for the say for a particular country and I want also make it that query as a dynamic. It means so according to requirement, I can change the name of the country. So first of all, how to do it? First of all, how to create the parameters? So transformation. Now sheet one, then parameters so right now there is no parameter now first of all we create the new parameter new and this is the name of the parameter say single country it's a user defined it could be anything and filter for the country this is the description of the parameter required so required means if this is checked then you have to supply the value for the current value this becomes a mandatory type the type of the parameter say numeric date type or boolean type so right now we take only text type then suggested values we have three options any value list of values and query so we will check one by one all these three so first of all, we take any value and then current value, say France. So we have a parameter whose value, current value is the France. Now, okay. So in the left side, we can see under the query, we have a parameter and the whose current value is the France. Now we apply sheet one. So this parameter basically is for the country select the country and filters text filters in text filters we have the multiple operators say equal does not equal begins with does not begin with so we take equals we have a dialog box in this dialog box we have the two type of filter basic and advanced in basic we have the again filter operators say equal not equal and the second one if we we have three options text parameters and the new parameter if you take this text then you can type the value manually in that case the parameter has no role and if you take the parameter say parameter so automatically it will select the name of the parameter because right now we have only one parameter if we have the multiple parameter then you can select the required parameter from the list of the parameters and third one is the new parameter from here you can create the new parameter so equal to single country and the value of this parameter is the france so we apply this one okay now we can check in the country we have the only france country now close and apply and visual we take visual now from the sheet one say country and say profit so we have taken the query the sheet one and we have a filter with the parameters on the sheet one that's why we have the data only from the for the one country that is the france so 
if we check home transformation edit parameter so we can see we have only single value that is the france and you can type another value say canada and okay apply change so you can see the canada country but we have a problem here if we change the country name then we need to type the name of the country in the parameters but i want already a list of country so that uh, so that i can select the required country from there how to do that so we create the second one or another parameter the new and this time say multi country and description now any data type say text and this time we take list of values the moment you select list of values you can define the list of the country say the first one canada then second one france and say germany say united states and many more then we have the default value so you can select the default value from the list you created say canada and again current value so the difference between the default value and the current value is the current value is stored in the parameter not the default value okay so okay now so now we have the two parameters single country and the multi country again we go to the query sheet 1 so on the country already we remove the para filters and we apply the multi country text filter and equal to now parameter so now we can select the required parameters because we have created the two so we take this time multi country okay now so by default and the current value is the canada so we have only the canada country in the this query okay close and apply now so visual also change you, you can see see this is the canada for the canada. now transform data and we check the added parameters so now we can see the two parameters in the first parameter we have the single value in the second one multi country we have a drop down and we can select the required country say germany we select okay now apply change so now we have the data for the germany country but we have another problem suppose a new country is added in the list then again you edit the parameter and add the new country so this is not the good practice there should be some mechanism like whenever the new country is added our list should be updated automatically how to do that one now we create one more parameter so sheet 1 and the new parameter we name it query country and description optional required type any and suggested value this time will take query but we do not find the value for this query the box is disabled then how to get the value for this query we have to create the list of the country how to do that one cancel now sheet duplicates and first of all we rename it say lst country now select the country column 
and transform convert to list so that column particular selected column has been converted into list now remove duplicates so we have the list of the countries unique okay back to the sheet one so list has been created now we create the parameter query country optional and any then we select the query now you click on the box then we have the lst country and current value say canada okay so this is done now now we go to the sheet one and apply the parameter text filter equals and now parameter so we have the three parameters single country multi country and query country so this time we take the query country and now okay so by default current value is a canada so we have the list of the canada now close and save and we check our visual okay so by default we have the canada now transform data edit parameter so we have the three parameters single country multi country and query country so this time we have applied the query country and in the query country we have the list of the countries and the multi country this drop down also contains the list of the country but the difference is we have the hard coded value in the multi country in the query country we have taken the value from the database so whenever the new country is added this list is automatically updated so we take the say france and okay now apply change so this is the now we have the data only for the france now we check how to use the parameters in the function so select sheet 1 and now create function so say my country and this function always refer a takes the reference from a parameter so currently on this sheet one query country this parameter is applied so it will take the reference from this parameter okay so my country this is the name of the function we created and we have a group in the group sheet one then the parameter name and the function name in this function we can type the name or we can type the name of the country manually say canada and invoke so we have the list of the canada country again this time we type say france invoke so we have the list of the france country and the left side we have the list of the invoked function now close so in the right panel you can see the list invoked function 1 and invoked function 2 the number of function you invoke then you can see the list of those invoked function in this panel so this is how you can create the parameter and use for the transformation and in the functions so guys this was all about the parameters in power by desktop thanks for watching the video